on a lighter note, college bowls, man. This is I think this has been probably is this a light note for you, Ohio State fans? Is it? Yes. Yeah. No, you know what? It is because people thought we had no chance. Bump that. I'm pissed. No, no, nah, nah, you can't be because CJ, you got to think. Think about it like this. CJ lost his number one receiver in game one, number one running back in game two. Then you lose Marvin Harrison Jr. in the third quarter. What that got to do with our defense? Still, and he still did enough. What, there ain't, what no, there ain't what no defense is. in college football. They're Regardless. Pro. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Look wait, at the wait, USC wait, game. Wait, Look wait. at the Ohio State game. Look at the Michigan game. Every one of them went in the 40s, man. There ain't no defense. What the heck? But if you look at it, Ohio State, before those last three games, their defense was like top five, top ten, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think they were playing bad competition, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Man, Just look, our, de- big our big defense big. held up into those last three games. That's why I'm upset, for real. I ain't going to lie no, to you. No, we have a problem with defending the run. Let's be honest. We can't defend the run. I think you guys have a lot of poor tacklers and like on your team. like I mean somewhat and that, especially that Michigan game, bro. I was man, like, we missed a lot. Y'all of gave, like y'all gave up a was it 80, 89 or seventy nine? We don't need you to use. No, but I'm just saying like <laughs> <laughs> every <laughs> hang on, hang on, real quick. But every one of them plays, you had hands on the player and let him go. Like, no. like that's what I'm saying. That Georgia game, we didn't. That one dude, look, <laughs> I think dude went right up the gut. Didn't get touched. I mean, some, some like, okay, but I'm not. I'm just saying, like all them and plays. Got think, like, one of them touchdowns, he he just he got caught by the turf monster. Right, but he what I'm gone. saying is, like, certain teams get out coached. Y'all didn't get out coached. Like, you had players in the right position, and they just didn't make the play. So, like, no. But to my point about losing Marvin Harrison, you had to settle for two field goals. If one of those field goals could be a touchdown, you well, yeah. you're up forty five. <laughs> 45-35 with, you know, now things, crazy things have happened. But I like our chances better if we don't have to kick two field goals our last two possessions. I, I will say they did. With they, the one he missed. They did screw us on that, you know, that penalty with that, you know, contact to Marvin Lewis of how we lost him, I should say. Yeah, I feel like we were definitely could have scored on that. If that's I, that's what know, been- I think. I think the thing is the NCAA has to – they have to really come together on that rule mm. and all be in agreement. Because even yeah. like with that Michigan game, it from from what I saw, looks like the helmet of the TCU guy hit the Michigan kid in like the neck slash nameplate area. That's still targeting. That's what I said. That play is okay. I'm not a Michigan fan at all. Careless, they won a lot, but that play. Is the when you look up the definition of targeting, that pi- the picture of that play should be right next to it. Like this is everything they tell us that targeting is. And when they saw it right in front of them, reviewed it and came back and said, mm, "Nah," I was like, "What is the even, freaking point?" Even, of- even to the point of that Marvin Harrison play, I ain't, I'm not gonna say dude intentionally did it because you know football is a bang bang sport, but it looked to me. Like both of those plays were helmet to helmet. They were. The Michigan play, the guy was already going to the ground. There was no need to even go in at him. Like we gotta think, Marvin Harrison was already on the ground. He was just trying to make it. He was just trying to complete the catch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like when they're given the opportunity to actually, dude, the quarterback in the Michigan game earlier, some guy like pushed his, extended his arms, like pushed him to the ground. And they said, "Oh yeah, you can hit the quarterback, but you can't like shove him. Like you can't yeah, literally." Shove him. Like, like I and I'm said, like, I'm like, fine, whatever. It's they got to figure out these rules, and they got to all be in the right. Game. But quarterbacks cannot be that protected, and everybody else is just like, eh. That's not how this works. Like because if that's the case, then you cannot call quarterbacks, which I don't. But you cannot call them the goats. You can call Brady the greatest quarterback of all time, but you cannot call him a football player when he has a different set of rules than all the rest of the field. Just you, you can't. I mean, you saw that in that uh, when when, I mean, when they say that. we got He's thrown to the ground, they like, said unnecessary roughness. You can say that, but I guarantee all those all those different other positions will say QB is probably the hardest position to play in NFL though, because of just how many 
schemes and formations that you got no, to talk I mean, about. we're not. We're yeah, not, but these guys will always. I'm just saying, I'm just going back to, to what he's just saying. I'm saying the GOAT talk. I mean, you could say he's the, well, yeah. I mean, I still okay, go I will games. tell you, like, chess is harder than than football, but it's the same for me. But, like, that doesn't mean that it's a, it's a tougher sport. Like, it's harder does not mean tougher. I'm just saying, like, you're not playing I had to ball. rethink about what I was about to say. So it still would be in the same category of him just being the best quarterback regardless of not. But Yeah, yeah. I, I have him as the greatest quarterback of all time. I will not say he's the GOAT. He's not doing what Barry Sanders did. He's not doing what Aaron Donald did. Aaron Donald will bench press his whole family. Like, you are not the same. You are, When you have a different set of rules than freaking, like, Aaron Donald, you cannot tell me you're in the same league. Like, you're – I'm sorry, you're just not. Like if that's the case, then why is Justin Tucker not the greatest player of all time? Like the dude. All right, wait, wait, wait. We're getting like, off topic. Let's get back to the <laughs> college football games. College I'm just saying, bro. Games. You can't have different rules, man. Like that. That no, was. No, I I get it, but I think the NCAA that should be one thing they do this off season. You have to have a good example of targeting because I've seen some, and it's like, oh no, he didn't. He didn't target him, but it's like go look at the Cleveland Browns versus Kansas City. That you it's helmet to helmet targeting. Clearly. So I mean, but like they, I said, they don't always miss calls though. And this, it's is, this, has be been, this has been one of the best, I would say one of the best bowl seasons. Even with UCLA and I mean UCLA. U- USC yes, yes. Point. Matter of fact, UCLA and uh Pittsburgh, then USC and Tulane. Both of them went down to the wire. Now, two touchdowns and safety in the last four minutes. I think the DB for uh, for USC today is like maybe if I wasn't trying to rip the ball out, he wouldn't have caught it because basically his arm is what kept the ball from hitting the ground. But you know, it's it's sports. What what can you do? Hey man, Caleb Williams is for real though, man. I I think he's got a shot. I, no, no, no offense, but like the kid from TCU, the quarterback, I don't think he has a shot in the NFL. Like you know, but he's gonna have a nice little, he's gonna have a nice little bull run, and I and I like it, and I hope he can go out and you know do the best he can. But like Caleb Williams is the real deal. I think he's gonna have, he's got a shot. Um, JJ McCarthy's got a shot to play in the NFL. Like I, there's some of these, some of these kids are gonna be some quarterbacks we're gonna see. But um, you know, I watch the TCU kid, man. It's it's hard to watch. Like he's 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 fun to watch in college. That don't that don't translate to the NFL. But yeah, heartbreaking weekend, man. Heartbreaking. Yeah. Hey man, TCU hasn't been this relevant since like Ladainian Tomlinson. Man, this is, this is interesting to see. I'm. I don't think they have been relevant since. Yeah, like you said, Ladainian Tomlinson. So yeah. yeah. But uh, I mean, they're playing for the championship. So kudos to them, man. They, I mean, they they deserve it. Like. Some extent, yeah, but. it's it's gonna be interesting because they they had a stat up the other day and they say uh, TCU is the first team out of Texas to make it to the college football playoffs, and from the way it's looking, they could become the first Big Twelve team to make it to the championship and win. So you know, hey, they can run now, that ball, man. Now I wonder though, if I'm Kansas State. I'm pissed because it's like the team we beat in the Big 12 championship wins the national championship. Oh, he's had one bad day. It don't matter. They still beat him. But you win the national championship? 